Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. So today, we're going to talk about three tractors saved from the scrap man. All right, guys, so the first one we're going to talk about is this little Sea Alice. Um, so, and I'm going to give you the prices that we paid for them. So, we gave 200 bucks on this thing. Um, it's definitely just a parts tractor, but I couldn't, I couldn't stand there and watch the junker. Uh, the local junker was there, and then there's a smaller kid that does a little bit of... Uh, does some junking on the side and they both were drooling at all three of these tractors that were on that auction thinking that they were going to have some weight in the load and I, I just couldn't let them do that i had to ruin their day so um this tractor here engine stuck clutch is stuck we actually had to put you see this strap sitting here we actually had to put a strap on the uh on the uh clutch and and pull it back to try to get it to let the rear end well actually the clutch is not stuck i'm incorrect on that the truck the clutch is not struck or stuck it's the rear end is froze up inside it's stuck in gear it's frozen in in gear so um so we had to pull the clutch forward we got it got it loaded had a little issue on getting it loaded but you know that tire's not too bad. That tire could be reused. This tire's old and dry and, and rotted, and, but in, in an emergency situation, I think it would air back up and you could use it if you just needed something on, keep it up on wheels. Um, the tin works not that great, but there's all the parts on here that Doc was needing to finish the C Alice that he was working on, or was it a C? Was it a B? No, it was a C. It was a little C Alice with a belly mower. So Doc's hoping between the two he can make one. So that's what we're hoping to see with this one. So let's move on down. We got two more to look at. All right, guys. So let's talk about the other one. So uh, bought this little nine in. I gave 300 bucks for it. I know I don't usually tell you guys the prices, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you the prices, what we paid for them. Kept the junk man from get it. Rubber shot all the way around. That tire looks really good when you're walking up from behind until you get to see the side and it's all split out. Um, the engine is stuck and I'm calling this a nine in because it says nine in on the block. So it's a nine in as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it might actually be a two in all I know, but whatever. It, 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 the reason, one of the biggest reasons I needed, I, I wanted to save this tractor is it's a Sherman and we get so many, we go through so many uh, eight ends, nine ends, two ends that run through the lot. I always need a parts tractor and every now and then I get a good running tractor that has some transmission issues and now I can go to work and pull this tranny which is good. We do, Doc is pretty sure it's a pretty good transmission yet on it. Um, it's a Sherman shift, so I mean that's worth saving right there. Uh, the tin works on it; it's not too bad. The fenders aren't too bad on it. it I, I'm like, it's got a good grill. I got a nine in on the lot right now, or yeah, nine in on the lot right now. Doc just finished the carburetor the other day. Needs a grill. Boom, got my part. You know, um, there's t tons of stuff on here that'll probably end up getting used on another thing. I got another two in that you guys seen a long time ago that's all rusty and stuff that I think I gave 200 bucks for it too. Motor's good on it. Doc got it to run, but everything else is shot. I got extra rubber, so we're gonna take this, we talked about taking this rear end and that motor, merging them together, making one tractor. So we're gonna, it definitely, it's a good thing we saved it. Like I said, another one that we ruined the junk man's day. He thought he was gonna make a load, but you know what, there ain't much here to make a load. These things are about 2,000 pounds once you pull the tires off anyways. So, but otherwise it's a pretty decent, pretty straight nine in besides the motor stuck. Let's move on one more guys. So this is the last and the final one. Um, it's a D14. It's a 1958 model. The loader's coming off. The neighbor man wants to buy it and the uncle wants to keep this one. And that's good and dandy for it. We gave 600 bucks for this tractor. Um, 
not running I had heard some guy behind me go that's too much for a non-running tractor well I was still bidding against the junker so it must have been in junk price because he was still going against me um, or going against us but uh this tractor is really straight and really nice and the paint isn't all that bad on it yes it's faded but it, it's 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 still good it's a ford loader um the neighbor man said he'd buy it i threw it to him at 300 bucks and he said he'd take it um it's not the greatest loader in the world um the buckets beat up really bad the uh and the cylinders up here you guys can see how rusted those are and they're kind of pitted a little bit but he was pretty pretty certain that he wanted it so we'll go ahead and let him take it um it's gonna need rubber all the way around um it's been converted over to a 12 volt alternator doc's probably going to spend a lot of time working on this for the uncle uh you know it's it is what it is um just another one of those tractors we had to save uh, i hate going to a sale and watching every non-running tractor every older tractor on the auction end up in the junk man's trailer and also we spent a lot of time pulling them off of uh marketplace and craigslist and stuff so i was starting to get quite a few of these rescue tractors now i need to do something with them because if i don't rescue them is going to be well that's going to be a waste of time because they're just going to can keep deteriorating that's why we had a few earlier for sale um real quick guys before i let you go or before i say anything else if you are not a member of the channel um this might be the time to do it if you are a member of the channel please go into the community deal i'm running a poll right now i need to know what day of the week and what time that would work best for you for me and angie to do a live stream for you this is just for the members for the ones of you that's paying the description to be to the channel so please go in there and please check that out and please uh put your uh put your answer in there for us so me and angie can figure out so we can make a date and then at a later date i will announce when that'll be so uh, if you're not a member of the channel become a member of the channel it's like two bucks or something it's not much and there's some extra perks you get you get you get a few few times a month or a few times a year extra that me and angie will do live streams for you um big special videos you guys will get to see them before the other people do like the auction videos i will release those usually out early so you guys can watch those before the rest of the world gets to them um and we're working on more more items um it's kind of difficult guys i mean to come up with stuff that i'm that i feel is worth your guys's extra time and effort and you guys supporting us so but otherwise guys i think at that point i need to say thank you for coming in thank you for watching and i hope you guys have an excellent day